Hello and welcome to A Course in Miracles 365. I'm your host, Tomas Garza, and this is so much fun. So I want to welcome you here today. It's Saturday here in North America, so I hope that everybody's having a great weekend. And whatever you're doing, I hope that you take time out just to appreciate everyone and everything around you because we are really literally surrounded by beauty and the relationships that we're forming and we have formed with people are, are really truly wonderful uh, it's, it's a wonderful community that we have here at enlightened world network and then that you may have elsewhere wherever wherever your people are and everyone that you're going to meet is going to be really touched by your energy as well. So I hope that whatever you're doing today, that you are making the decision, as we've talked about all the time on this live stream, and we will continue to talk about all the time on this live stream. And the course text workbook, keep talking about all the time. I hope that you're continuing to show up as love and to choose love whenever you remember to do that it, right now in the present moment whenever that is so thank you all for tuning in yesterday kim venter joined me on the live stream yesterday and if you have not checked out kim and her experience i invite you to go back and take a look at yesterday's stream here on A Course in Miracles 365. Kim is a student of A Course in Miracles who has experienced a tremendous amount of personal transformation in the two years since she began studying it. And it has a lot of insight into how the course has helped her and shares her, some of her experience. And that's just yesterday. So we skipped over lesson 25 of the workbook. Actually, we didn't skip over it because we're gonna do it right now. <laughs> didn't go anywhere, didn't go anywhere. But I'll be doing that here on the live stream because I really want to showcase other people's experiences. To emphasize first and foremost that this is a shared journey. This is, is completely 100% a shared journey. And as we have begun to see, here in the workbook, and we'll see it again today. The ego is not real. It does not exist. Now we feel it as very real and very oppressive and frustrating and sad and enraging all at the same time. Yeah, all, of it, all at the same time, but it is not in fact existent. So everything is shared. And it's my aim to showcase different people's experiences. Another reason why I want to do that is because you don't ever know who is going to hear your particular message. This is something that the course emphasized. And when I first discovered the course, it really, really powerfully and deeply hit home to me that we have to yeah, it's our, it's our job, our mission, our duty, our calling to show up, choose love, and teach. Show love. Teaching takes different forms for different people, obviously. But we have to show up and teach because you never know who's going to respond to precisely your message on a given day. There are people in the world that will respond most strongly to you and only you. We each have different parts to play. It's really the same part, but we reach different people in different parts of the world at different stages in time. And it's up to us to constantly, as often as we can, remind ourselves to choose love. In that sense, life is very much a working, walking, living, breathing meditation. Let's say you're in a meditation practice and you're doing your best to maintain your awareness on your breath. 
when inevitably our mind runs off, your mind runs off, you start thinking about something else. As soon as you remember to focus on your breath, just simply bring your attention back, let everything else go. Life is, in fact, a walking, living, breathing meditation in that sense. The object of meditation, in this case, to follow this example, love. Your pure being. Remember to choose love. Every time you recognize that you've gotten carried away on something else, you've gotten carried down whatever train of thought that you're on, as soon as you recognize, choose love in the present. It's, it's that simple. Now, as we've talked about, if only it were that easy to do it all the time. Well, if we all had the wherewithal to choose this all of the time, then we wouldn't be here having this live stream as we'd all be completely awakened. So, because in the world that's not appearing to be the case, let's delve into workbook lesson 25. Now, this is a big one. This is a big one. So it's totally fine that we did something else yesterday. This is waiting for us, as always. I do not know what anything is for. That's the idea for today. I do not know what anything, and I do mean anything, is for. Now, the ego is naturally going to be super, super resistant to this, isn't it? Well, yes, I do. Yes, I do know what everything is for. I learned it in school that that's what it's for. My parents taught me this. Society taught me this. This is what this thing is for. This is a pen, it's for writing, right? This is a cell phone. It's for busying ourselves. No, it's for calling people and scrolling Facebook and Twitter, right? I know what this is for. Not really, not really. And the reason for that is we're perceiving everything in the world in terms of ego goals. Let's break that one down. We're perceiving everything in terms of ego goals and the ego is not real. It looks and feels real to us, no question about that, right? But it's not real. And the ego's goals in terms of me, 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 what can I get? What's in the situation for me? How can I use this situation to benefit me? Me, 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 separate me, separate me, separate me. That's the ego that speaks to us all the time with which we identify in the world to our great detriment and suffering. And because you're watching this live stream, you've begun to see in your life that the way out is through spiritual practice. The way out of suffering cannot be found by delving into external objects, and the more we continue to listen to the advice of the ego, the more confused we become. Why the ego doesn't know what it's doing anyway. So the goals of the ego have nothing to do with anything. They're confused. The ego is not you. Everything in this world, every single thing is for our own best interest. It's for your best interest, all right? These paintings that you see behind me are for my and your best interests, and I hope you're enjoying them. The one on the top here with the yucca and the mountains, the blue and yellow was painted by my grandmother. It's, uh, everything is for our own best interest. This computer is for our own best interest. A, an overdue bill is for our own best interest. An opposing political party or a politician whom we don't like at all is for our own best interest. Now, how can you say that? Well, 
The practice of forgiveness in A Course in Miracles is something we'll talk about extensively. It is our purpose here, choosing love. That's a way that we actively, in the moment, choose love. Everything that's happening to us is in fact happening for us. I know that people say this all of the time. Here's what's meant by that from a core level spirituality perspective is everything is happening for us to assist our awakening, including the stuff that appears and comes across as painful to us. The overdue bill, the cable news stream, world news, politics, pandemics, everything. Everything is for our own best interest. The things that are appearing as, um, as painful to us are coming up so we can release them. That's it, that's all. They're coming up so we can release them. Spiritual practices like the workbook in A Course in Miracles help us to see this and to practice it more importantly so that we can change our perception of them. Now, according to the ego, the ego wants us to lash out at anybody that seems to be opposed to us. Now, if you have a certain, well, let's use politics as an example. Why not? In general terms, whatever your beliefs are, what happens? There is a system of opposition created where there's one side and another side. And depending on where you live in the world, there might be many, many different sides. Everyone defining and defending their own personal territory, claiming to one degree or another, that the other side is wrong, just wrong. And in extreme cases, doing things and saying things that indicate that the other side has no right to even exist. Well, that's the ego playing itself out on a global scale. It's pain, it's suffering, it's not you. That's the beauty of all of this, is it's not you. All of this is not who you are. Therefore, because we perceive everything in the world through ego goals, the ego is not us. We don't know what anything is for. The answer is it's for our own best interest. But not knowing that, we need exercises like this, Lesson 25 in the workbook. So all of the goals of the ego are, of course, concerned with me, 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 my, 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 what can I get? They're personal interests. They appear to be personal and personal, meaning cut off from everyone else, separate, that sort of thing. So this means that on the most superficial level, we really don't recognize purpose. So we can say, and the workbook points this out in paragraph four here in today's lesson that a telephone's for calling somebody. I mean, a smartphone's for, well, it's an onboard computer as we all know, but a telephone is for calling somebody. Okay, that seems to make sense to us, but we really don't know what we wanna contact them for. That's very profound. I recommend that if you need to read and reread this portion in the workbook that you do that. And it literally says, for example, you do understand that a telephone is for the purpose of talking to someone who is not physically in your immediate vicinity. Okay, clear enough, right? What you do not understand is what you want to reach him for. And that's something that we are awakening to. Why we want to reach people, why we keep coming back to A Course in Miracles, even if you started the workbook once and stopped it, even if this book has been sitting on your shelf and you haven't opened it, but you're still watching this live stream, book's talking to you, isn't it? Yeah, it's saying, mm, open me, open me. 
I'm waiting for you very patiently, of course. So it's, it's a very important lesson. And in terms of the actual practice periods, what I, what I recommend is that you try to do it exactly as the workbook says, but people quit this workbook all the time because they feel that if a day's exercise like this one calls for six two minute practice periods and they only do two, that they're doing it wrong. Uh-uh, no, you're not doing it wrong. If all you remember is two, make those count. I mean, life is a living, breathing, waking, and sleeping, but it's a living, ongoing meditation. The object of meditation, remember to choose love. Right now, that's, that's the question. Are we choosing love? Remember, every, every time, as many times as we can and must, simply bring your focus, bring your awareness and attention back to the object of meditation. Am I choosing love? Choose love right now. So if there are questions, we've got time here on the live stream. So I'm going to pull out my phone. One of the other purposes of this is to reach you on Facebook and read your comments and welcome you here to the live stream today. So thank you for tuning in wherever you are from and wherever you're joining me from. Another purpose to turn the volume down so that there's no echo. So Robert, hello, how are you? Thank you for joining me here today. So I am in the habit every day of going back through the comments here. And if you have specific questions, I want to invite you to please leave them here on, on the comment thread. I will go back several times during the day and I will respond. So if you're catching this on the replay, never fear. Uh, this is something that is highly, highly beneficial in today's world is that we can have things like a live stream, like a podcast, for example, on demand. And wherever you happen to find yourself in the world, Roberts in Romania, you can simply turn it on. And we have the wisdom of, of some tremendous teachers that's accessible to us. So I want to invite you again, if you missed yesterday's interview with Kim Venter, please feel free. And I, I highly recommend that you go back and watch that. I really, really am serious about showcasing other points of view here, other than my own. Why? Because, well, I mean, I'm happy to show up and share my experience on a daily basis, and I'm doing that. But it's really important that we recognize that we can all do this. It's really easy, and I'll close with this, it's really easy to indulge in comparative reality in the world. It's really, really easy to listen to somebody, a podcast host or someone's podcast guest or watch somebody on a live stream thinking, well, it must be really easy for them. Well, actually it hasn't, hasn't been real easy for me. If I appear calm to you, I've been meditating for 36 or 37 years regularly. That means I've fallen asleep in meditation more than most of you have, I think. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so, you know, anyone that you look at, you are 100% capable and indeed destined to reach the same levels of spiritual development. We're all headed there because it's who we really are. So I want to showcase other people's experiences. And, you know, just because you look at somebody like GP Walsh, for example, or you look at someone like Deepak Chopra or Eckhart Tolle, somebody, somebody that is, is out there openly sharing their spiritual experience, just because you see that person doesn't mean that you're not going to end up with the exact same realizations. Now, you may never point a camera at yourself 
turn it on and start talking about it, that may not be the way that you teach and share. And the beauty of all of this is each of us has our own roles to play. So I want to invite you to tune in to Kim Venter's experience. She's had a very, very interesting experience and has learned and grown and transformed quite a bit. So that's yesterday's live stream. I will have more speakers in store in the future, but thank you. And if you're tuning in on the replay today, feel free to leave a question, drop it here, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. And thank you for joining me.